But she would say, don't go in those buildings. Really? Of course we went in those buildings. Well, so how old were they? These buildings. It's hard to say, but they were old houses. We go, right. go up old Triggity stairs. And <laughs> <laughs> we had to explore. What was the heyday of St. Vincent? Oh, and I would say um, um, between 1880 and 1850. Er, 1950. Okay. How many people or, would have been what here? What did I just say? 1880 to 1950. Yeah. Yes. yes. The highest population was about um, 800. Wow. But this oh, used to be a major terminus. And I've got historical records plus the story. Well, where I, found, where I first heard it was in the stories that Chuck Walker wrote. Right. And I said, no way. And, and then... <laughs> And then I researched it and found historical records that backed them up. But there, it was a major uh, railroad terminus, for, uh, especially for people going through. Okay. And there used to be dozens of trains carrying hundreds and hundreds of people through every day. Every day? Yeah, they were going west. And this was Hills Railroad or the Sioux yeah. Line? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was um, well, at first it was the St. Paul, um, Manitoba. Right. And he he bought that and made it into the Great Northern. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. So this was a happening joint. Oh yeah. I mean my mom always used to say, you know, there was a couple of blacksmith shops. There were uh, uh, more saloons than churches. <laughs> we were considered a bad town in the county. Really? And, and we were always getting dissed in the newspaper. Uh, that, you know, like we were leprous, and, you know, untouchables or something <laughs> right. like that. Cool! <laughs> <laughs> so... Were there any any famous people that uh, came through here on the train? Um... Yeah. Uh, I don't know if exactly through because yeah. St. Vincent was a end terminus. Right. Oh. But, but they did come past the town on the outer edge. Okay. Uh, there was one year, and I write about this on the blog, where Mark Twain was was touring the area, huh. uh, North America, and he had been up into Canada, and then he was coming down and went to Crookston. Oh, I he didn't know he that. He did not play here, but yeah, he came through here. <clears throat> And one of the presidents, I don't yeah. remember, he came, actually came here. Um, yes, wow. you, you'll have to read my book. I will. Well, <laughs> I've, I've already linked it to the Patreon site, so hopefully you'll get some traffic, and I will continue to do so.